Okay, certainly there's many paths to the answer. And I want to point out, yeah, this is the answer. But if that's your goal, I wouldn't be looking at that now. Your first goal, can you meet this? Can you get there? And that's my first struggle. Can I get there? What I'd recommend is you multiply both sides by the LCD. And if you did that, you would get, let me write this down for you, 3x plus a plus 2, the root of x plus a times the root of x plus 6a equals 24a. All right, now what would I do? Well, I'm gonna rewrite it. This is gonna be two root x plus a root x plus 6a equals well, it's going to be 21a now. Now, why is that? I'm taking away 3a from both sides, and I'm taking away 3x from both sides. All right, what am I going to do now? I'm going to square both sides. So I get 4x plus a, x plus 6a. And I'm going to square the other side, but I'm factoring out a 3. And 3 squared is 9. And then you would have, let's see, 3 from 21 is 7, right? So 7a minus, picking 3 at x, but that thing is being squared. i got to do more work. So it's going to be 4 x squared plus 7ax plus 6a squared. Well, it's more challenging. That's going to be 7 times 7 is 49a squared minus 14ax plus x squared. All right, let's hope I didn't make too many mistakes. Got to keep moving forward, and I'm, I'm still not at the first, first goalpost. And what do you get there? You would get 4x squared plus... 28ax plus 24a squared. Let's see if I did that right. Yep, I did okay. And then 9 times 49. Well, 9 times 50 is 450. And minus 9. So that's going to be 441a squared minus, well, 9 times 14, right? That's 90 and 36. That's going to be minus 126 AX and then 9X squared. Well, I'm going to get my zero now. I'm going to take 4X squared from both sides. That would be 5X squared. I'm going to take 28 from both sides. 28 AX from, I'm sorry. So let's write that down. 126 minus 28. That's 4. So 150, 154, right? Yeah, 154. And that's AX. And then I got to do this business over here, right? So what's that going to be? Let's see. 441 minus 24. Let's see. This would be 3. This would be 11, 7, 1, 4, 17, right? So what do you get there? Uh, let's see. Plus... 417a squared. Now, did we, meet, did we meet that milestone? Yes. We got the uh, 5x squared minus 154ax plus 417a squared. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm going to erase all my work. I got to this first milestone. And my next milestone after doing that is what do I want to do? Do I want to factor it or do I want to use a quadratic formula? If you use the quadratic formula, the milestone here is just write down the A, when I say the A, the big A, the big B, and the big C, and plug into the formula and do the arithmetic and you'll get something, all right? So my claim over here is that, though, I'm going to try to factor it, all right? And so why do you do that? Just because I think it might be easier to deal with. So let's say, let's say we can do that. And I'm going to write that down for you. So zero... And what's nice about 5x squared, there's only one choice for it. It's 5x and x. 
But I got to be honest with you, that 417 is a killer. All right, I'm looking at it, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I say 3 goes into that. Right? So 3 goes into that. And I'm going to say 1. That's 3. 1, 1, 3. That's 9. 27. So 139. Well, that's an interesting number, isn't it? And I think I'm seeing something now. So I think I'm seeing 3. Let's see if that's good. 3A. And 139. Let's not celebrate yet. Let's see, if, see what we get. Looks like minus, minus. Get my baby a retic erase. I don't need it anymore. I'm done with that. And let's see if that works. You do get 5X squared. And let's see. What's 3 times 139? Well, we just did it. It's 417. You know, 390 and 27, 417. And then let's see if you get that. And I, I got to check it. So it's, you know, I'm going to say, I know it's negative, by the way. So 15 and then 139. That's 4. 154. Wow, it's a miracle. We got it. Oops, all right, it's an A there. So I got my answers. X will equal 139A over 5, or X is going to be equal to 3A. All right? Now, granted, I do want to point out, you probably should be checking these guys over here. That's trouble, though. I want to be honest with you. It's trouble for a lot of students to check these things. I don't enjoy checking them, but I'll be honest with you, it's worthwhile checking. And what I mean by that, this one is the only one that's going to work. And by the way, the conditions are setting up is A greater than zero, by the way. Okay, so... Um, the reason for that is if you had 3A plus A uh, in the, over here, you got to have a positive number, all right? So someone says, could you check this one for me? Of course, again. But as an exercise, you should be able to take this number here, plug it in here, and show what's not true. Now, someone says, why is it not true? Well, the bottom line is when you start to square things, you introduce trouble. And this is the trouble we just introduced in a problem, that solution. It's extraneous. There's only one answer here. Thank you.